Facebook. Now originally Facebook was developed simply to allow students to basically swap information with each other, but uh, as you know since then it's grown into an enormous um, website and basically it's used by millions and millions of people every single day. So if you don't already have a Facebook page for your business, set one up now. And basically Facebook allows you to keep in touch with large numbers of people uh, very, very easily. Now once you've set up or once you've signed up for a Facebook page, it's important that you optimize your Facebook page in exactly the same way you'd optimize, optimize your website. So again, once you start looking into it, for instance, if we look at this Facebook page here, you'll generally find there's an about page here or an about button. And from there, you'll notice we've got links in this case to my websites and we've got information about me. And again, it's just like with websites. If you put as much information in there as possible, chances are it's going to be found uh, more easily. And uh, basically, you want to put relevant information. So basically, treat it just like you would your web page. You want to have uh, as much information about your products and services and your company. Um, again, you want details of your location. So again, if you're a plumber in Perth, you would use the words Perth, plumber, WA, um, and all relevant sort of suburbs and what have you. So, so basically, just treat all of these social media sites in exactly the same way as you treat your website. Uh, which is quite good in a way because it means that um, these days people increasingly know they should optimize their websites. But it's amazing how many companies actually set up Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and all the rest of it. And all they do is they simply sign up, maybe customize a picture, and that's about it. The, the occasional post, the occasional tweet. But they just don't make full advantage of what's on offer. Twitter. If you don't already have a Twitter account set up for your company, set one up now. And again, with all these social media sites, it's important to realize that each individual social media site, they generally allow you to create something like a profile. And in that profile, you should pack as much information in as possible about your company, your product, your services, your location. And again, find subtle ways of basically uh, including the keyword phrases that are important to you because you should treat all of these social media sites in exactly the same way as you treat your own website. And all of these social media sites can be optimized, you know, in terms of SEO for your particular product or service. Now, if I bring Twitter up here, again, you can see that you've got opportunities for including links to your website. So in this particular case, this is just a Twitter page. But notice here, I've got an active link to my website. And again, the more links you've got from other places to your website, the better. So that's one of the great things about social media sites. Most of them allow you to have an active link that people can click on. Uh, in some cases, this might be tagged as what's called a no follow, in which case it won't directly help your SEO. But certainly the more incoming links to your website from good sources, the better. Now LinkedIn, um, the basic idea behind LinkedIn is it allows you to share details about you and your company with other like-minded people. So again, with LinkedIn, as you notice, it offers a button here to click to see the full profile. Basically, with social media sites, anywhere you can create a profile, that's basically like an opportunity for SEO because in the profile for all these social media sites, you can, as I say, you can pack in your uh, keyword phrases, providing you do it subtly. You can generally have links back to your website. And again, it's uh, another brilliant opportunity for basically getting really good links back to your website. And in many cases, as I'll show you later, um, you'll find that done right, your LinkedIn page can actually show up in the search engine results, as well as having a link to, um, uh, to your website directly from the social media site. YouTube. A lot of people just simply don't use YouTube. They think it's too difficult because they think, oh, I've got to have a professionally produced video. Well, if you don't already have a YouTube account, go and sign up for one and um, what, again, you can optimize the uh, YouTube channel, as it's called, um, to really sort of stand out. Because at the end of the day, YouTube is basically a giant search engine. YouTube is also owned by Google, which kind of gives you a clue to how important it can be. And YouTube is actually the second most widely used search engine after Google. Because if you think about it, when you go to YouTube, there's a search box there. You can search for videos within YouTube. Now everyone knows you can go to YouTube for things like music videos and what have you, but increasingly businesses are using YouTube. And as I say, a lot of businesses are put off with the fact they think, I've got to have a really expensive video on there. You don't. Um, there's lots of very inexpensive 
video editing software you can use to create simple sort of slide based videos so you don't even have to have a, a video like the one you're watching where you're talking to camera you don't even have to have any talk in it whatsoever what you can do is just simply create a series of slides in something like PowerPoint and then you can import those into your graphics program and your video editing program and you can add transitions and effects and fades and all the rest of it and you can also um, have access to a, a library of free music which you can add in the background and you can produce quite professional looking results very cheaply and very quickly and you can do all that yourself now with YouTube there's different elements to YouTube there's what's called the YouTube channel and you can create playlists and you can create individual videos and each one of those different aspects can be optimized for your particular keywords and phrases and again if you go and investigate you'll find that YouTube gives you a certain amount of help it gives you certainly pointers in the right direction but again YouTube is um, a particularly underused resource by many small businesses because they just think it's too difficult and the other thing is um, quite often you'll find that um, especially if you want to have um, a product that's sold locally or a service that's available locally you'll find a lot of your local competitors won't actually have a YouTube video so again if we take the example of maybe a plumber in Perth uh, or a plumber in Joonlup and then people search within YouTube for plumbers Joonlup or plumbers Perth or something like that you'll find that quite often there's actually not that many competitors to start off with with websites on the other hand just about everyone has a website these days the good news is most of them aren't optimized which uh, makes it easier for you if you're going to optimize your site but as I say with YouTube you've got less competition to start off with and then if you really pull out the stops and you know learn how to optimize it properly then you're going to get found now with YouTube you can uh, upload a couple of videos certainly if you're going to go to the trouble of creating a YouTube channel don't just upload one video um, I'd create at least five or six videos different videos and basically you just simply create those on your computer and upload them if you want to create your own videos um, a package I'd recommend be something like power director um, it will probably just cost you the equivalent of about 100 bucks or so it's not very expensive um, it's very powerful it has all the effects you can ever want to use really um, you can create slide based videos or later on if you want to create uh, uh, videos where you're talking to camera again you'll find it very very easy to use um, if you want something more professional then something like uh, Adobe Premiere Pro is probably the one I'd recommend um, but again there's lots of alternatives and it depends on what you're actually doing but certainly to start off about 100 bucks invested in software it's a brilliant way of getting ahead of the competition and again done right with YouTube you can have links displayed beneath each video that's actually displayed on the, the YouTube uh, channel and they can allow users to link directly back to your website so it's a good way of getting extra visitors and a good way of getting extra links showing up in the search engine results right Google plus one this is sort of Google's response to Facebook if you like the Facebook likes and the idea with Google plus one is you can have um, a Google plus one button on your website and you're basically inviting your uh, visitors to click on that and vote in effect to say this is a good website and the more people that click on that the better and the more that Google's going to like it and the higher you'll rise in the search engine all things being equal so again it's something you need to sign up for and basically implement the buttons on your website Pinterest you may not have heard of this one this is one of the newer social media sites uh, but again it's rapidly uh, gaining ground and if you've never heard of it just simply go and sign up for it uh, but again it needs to be optimized properly to get the best out of it and again the good news is most people just simply sign up for Pinterest assuming they've heard of it and uh, that's about it but again there's huge opportunity within Pinterest to uh, actually optimize your individual pins um, if you've never heard of Pinterest if I just quickly bring it up as you can see basically it just allows you to uh, pin pictures that's really what it's about so you can pin pictures from all over the net and in turn people can repin your pictures uh, it sounds unlikely but you can actually attract an awful lot of new visitors to your website if you correctly use Pinterest as I say it's a, a new social media site or comparatively new and it's definitely one that's worth looking at if you've got a website and here's just one of our websites I've brought up at random what you should do is basically have buttons that allow your visitors to link to your particular social media sites so in this case I've got links to things like um, 
Twitter and Facebook and uh, Google Plus and YouTube. So for instance, if I was a visitor and I clicked on the YouTube button here, that would display the YouTube channel for the, for the viewer. And from there, they can investigate all of our videos. And uh, if we just take one at random, say this one here, up it would come. I'll actually freeze that. But as you can see, done right, as you can see underneath the video here, I've got a link back to my site, which is kind of nice. So it's a good way of uh, attracting extra viewers. But the point is, you should have these buttons here. So any of the social media sites you've got, I've just got, in this case, I've just got a few of them, but you could have um, buttons for things like LinkedIn and Pinterest and anything else for that matter. So if you've got your social media sites, always make sure that it's easy for visitors to your website to actually click on a button and go and look at your social media um, websites. In the same way, looking at it from the other point of view, if you've got your social media sites, make sure it's easy for people who go, to, for instance, to YouTube or to Pinterest, where it happens to be, in turn, to click on a button or click on a link to link back to your particular website. So it's a two-way process. Now, as you can see, in this particular case, this top pro here basically allows visitors to click on any of these buttons and they can go and see my social media sites. But also, equally important, we've got these other sort of sharing type buttons down here so people can like me on Facebook or vote for me on uh, Google Plus or um, you know, access Twitter from here. Uh, we've also got, in this case, another share button. And as you can see, apart from that, just those three up there, if they click on this, they can share with uh, things like StumbleUpon. And as you can see, the More button here has 339 different social me media sites which they can uh, share you with. So as you can see, if you look down the list here, there's absolutely masses of them. Probably most of them you've never heard of, but people do use these things. So this is the sort of thing you should have on your website. As I say, you should have buttons that allow people to access your social media websites, but you should also have sharing buttons so people can share what they like with others on social media sites. Right, social media sites show up in the search engine results. Because in this section, we've looked at the various social media sites that are available, and I've tried to stress that it's no use just simply signing up for them. You've got to know how to sign up in the right way in many cases so that you get an actual customized name that's relevant to your particular business and incorporates your keywords in your Facebook name or your Twitter name, or what it happens to be. Um, so that's one part of it. But the other thing is that um, you can then have links from your social media sites back to your website. But it's also very important to realize that if you have social media sites like LinkedIn and YouTube and what have you, then those items, those different sites can show up in the search engine results. So here we are in Google. I've done a search for SEO training JuneLab because that's basically what we do. We're an SEO company, we do training, and we're based in JuneLab, which is north of Perth. Now, as normal, you've got the um, first couple of results here, which are paid for results. Then as you go down here, you see our website and happily we've got one, two, three, four. The first four results are actually from our website, which is quite nice, uh, especially bear in mind we do have a lot of competitors locally. But anyway, anyway, if we go down here, you might think, what about the rest of these results? That's nothing to do with us. Well, actually it is because clearly for seotraining.com.au, that's our website. So one, two, three, four, those are quite clearly our website. If you go to this next item here, it's uh, something called domore.com.au. Now, you'll notice that um, there's my name, David Murray, in JuneLap, and there's the postal address. So actually, this is somebody else's website, but if I was to click on this, it's actually about me, because what this site is, it's a uh, website that allows you to post details of training courses, and that's what I've done, which is why it shows up in the search engine results. So remember, we were searching for SEO training JuneLab. I filled the first four spots. The fifth spot, if someone clicked on it, is actually also about me. But look at the next result. So this is result number six, I think it was. It's YouTube. And again, look at the address, for seotraining.com.au. So even though that's a YouTube video on YouTube, and even though we're actually in Google, and we search for SEO training JuneLab. In this position here, as you can see, one of our videos on Google has shown up in the search engine results. That's why it's important. That's why you should start creating videos 
get a YouTube channel together, customize it, optimize it, and you'll get these sort of results for yourself. If we go down a bit, the next result, again, it doesn't look like us at first sight, but uh, it's something called um, www.impressor.com. In actual fact, that is another site where you can upload videos to. So everyone's heard of YouTube. Uh, what most people don't realize is there are lots and lots of alternative sites to YouTube where you can upload videos. And this is one of them. And as you can see, in this particular case, it's shown up in the search engine results, even though we were searching in Google using the phrase SEO Training Journal App. As you can see there, one of our videos on YouTube showed up. And here, one of our YouTube, one of our videos on an alternative to YouTube also showed up. If you look at the next one here, uh, slideshare.net, again, it doesn't look like us, but actually it is. You're familiar with YouTube. YouTube allows you to share videos. Well, believe it or not, there are sites where people can share PowerPoint presentations, and this is one of them. So this is like another type of social media um, sharing service, if you like. So this particular one here called shareserve.net, that allows you to take a PowerPoint presentation, and if you properly optimize it, which is always the caveat, if you properly optimize it and all the rest of it, then as you've seen, that will show up in the search engine results. If we go down to the next two um, results here, that doesn't look like us, but that's one of our alternative websites because we do um, SEO training, but we also do um, SEO consultancy, and that's our consultancy website, but we do mention training on there. And again, it's properly optimized, so that shows up as well. So let's just recap here and think about this. We're in Google. We typed in SEO training journal app. I basically filled the first 10 spots, either with places from my two websites or from my social media sites. That's why social media is important. Just to really rub in this point, let's, let's look at page two. So I'll click on next. First spot is my other website, um, which uh, that's my other website, that's my other website, that one is, that one is, and um, that's one of our courseware websites because we do uh, computer courseware as well, but we also mention the fact we do SEO training. So if you do have multiple websites, as I say, providing you do it carefully, you can kind of cross link from one to the other. Um, this one down here, authorstream.com. Again, if you look carefully, it mentions Cheltenham Group and what have you, so that's all about us. So even though it's not our website, it's another site where you can upload items to, and again, they'll show up in search engine results. Uh, down here, we've got the 4SEO training site. And then finally, when we get to here, we've got somebody else, which I don't think... Oh, no, that's us as well. Website SEO Australia. I don't know why we listed there, but that's someone else listing our details. And then finally, the last one here... Again, it doesn't look like us. It's something called uh, www.metacafe.com. And sure enough, it's another of our videos uploaded to another video sharing site. I think you kind of get the idea now. If you really want proof, let's look at page three. So, so far, I filled the first two pages. I typed in SEO training journal app. And no one else, none of my competitors have had a look in so far. All the results are either my websites or my social media uh, sites, well, they don't belong to me, but are loaded to social media sites, and the links will refer back to me. And if we carry on going, what have we got? Um, I'm not sure if that one's about us. Let's have a quick look. Actually, yes, that was about us as well. Okay. So here we are on page three. Um, I'll call it a day after this because you get the point. But if we go down here, you can start find there's another entry we've got on, uh, I think that's our one, uh, which is SlideShare, which is another sharing service. And if we come down here, we've got LinkedIn. Do you remember earlier on I was saying you need a LinkedIn account? Well, there you are. There's uh, my LinkedIn page showing up in the search engine results. I think you're getting the idea here. Um, one more, powershow.com. That is, yet another one here is uh, PowerShow, which is, uh, if I remember right, is another social media media sharing service for uh, for slides. And then right down at the bottom of the page here, I've got another video here on Daily Motion, which, um, yep, that's one of ours as well. 
all the results on the first three pages were either our websites or social media um, sites where we've posted information up there and if people go there they'll find a link clicking back to us so if you weren't convinced about the importance of social media i hope that's just demonstrated the the vital importance of social media um, because i haven't just got onto page one i've slaughtered the opposition there um, because there are actually a lot of training companies um, in and around Perth who do SEO training. Blogs. Finally, in this section, we're going to talk about blogs. Blogs basically um, kind of got a bad name when they started off because people would um, have a blog that say, hey, I'm going shopping, uh, back from the shops now. Um, I'm thinking of going shopping this afternoon, and they were boring as hell, basically. Um, Blogs have grown up a lot now. Blogs are used by business. If you haven't got a blog, set one up. And by far and away, the best blogging software is something called uh, WordPress. Now, if you're smart, what you should do is create your entire website using WordPress. So you have a, you have a website that's actually WordPress-based, and then you have a WordPress blog within your website. That's the clever way of doing it. That's the way that we always recommend and it's again it's not difficult but uh, it's like anything else you've got to build it right it's like a house if you're going to build a house then anyone can tinker around and possibly put a window in if they um, read up a bit but actually doing the foundations and the rest of it that's the difficult bit so if you are going to create a new website get it built on proper foundations and i would strongly suggest you think about wordpress and once you've got a wordpress website as i say the clever thing to do is to have a blog within the wordpress site I mean, technically speaking, any site created by WordPress is technically a blog. But uh, again, we do a separate course, or you can look it up yourself. There's information about WordPress, and basically you have pages and posts, and it's important to know the difference. And once you get that sorted out, you can have an extremely powerful website that shows up. Um, you saw in the last section how well we showed up in response to, uh, what was the phrase? It was um, uh, SEO training June Lab. And that's exactly what we do in SEO training company. We're based in JuneLab. And uh, if you typed in uh, something like SEO training uh, Perth, we wouldn't show up quite so well, but we'd still show up well. And if you typed in something like um, SEO training, we'd still show up well. Um, so as I say, when you're building websites, initially start off thinking locally, then build, you know, think suburb initially, then go to um, city, and then sort of you know, go national if that's appropriate to your particular business or product or service. But um, hopefully, within this section, within the short section, you've seen the benefits or potential benefits of really maxing out on the um, social media side of things. Um, a lot of people can't, can't really see the point of Twitter. I, I'm one of them. I hate Twitter. I mean, I don't frankly know why people like Twitter. All I'm saying is that uh, if you want to get found well on Google, use Twitter and Facebook and Pinterest and all these other things. Even if you don't like them, it's not important. Use them, play by the rules, and you'll find that um, it really helps out with your website. Because at the end of the day, if you've got a website, there's no point having it if it can't be found easily. You want your websites to be found easily in, in Google. You want people to click on them, and basically you want the website to make money. It's as simple as that.